Hi, I'm Mark from the Home Depot Rental Center. When you need to quickly remove unwanted water from an area such as a flooded basement, manhole, or utility vault, we offer the Wacker Noisen gas trash pumps. These pumps come in two and three inch sizes. The two inch unit can pump up to 172 gallons per minute or GPMs and handle suspended solids up to one inch. The three inch unit can pump at a rate of 356 gallons per minute and tackle one and a half inch solids. These gas trash pumps are lightweight and compact and feature high strength aluminum housing and cast iron internal components. They're rugged, easy to maintain, made with quality materials and simple to operate. As with the safe operation of any power equipment, make sure you're wearing the proper protective gear. Wear safety glasses, durable work gloves, and hearing protection. Never pump volatile, flammable, or low flash point fluids. These fluids could ignite or explode. Do not pump corrosive chemicals or water containing toxic substances. These fluids could create serious health and environmental hazards. Do not open the pump housing cover when the pump is operating or start the unit with the cover off. The rotating components inside can cut or sever objects caught in it. And never block or restrict the flow from the inlet or discharge lines. Before starting, you must prime the pump. To do so, remove the prime plug and fill the case with water. If the pump is not filled with water before you begin, you won't get any outlet flow and the unit could be damaged. Do not open the priming plug, discharge plug, or loosen the hose fittings if the pump is hot. Water or vapor inside the pump may be under pressure. Next, attach the suction hose, which is the reinforced hose, securely to the pump. The suction hose must not have any air leaks. Look to make sure the rubber gasket is in place in the suction hose coupling. Tighten the hose clamps and couplings. Be sure the suction strainer is clean and securely attached to the end of the hose. The strainer is designed to protect the pump by preventing large objects from being pulled into it. Make sure to position the strainer so that it'll remain completely underwater. If you run the strainer above water for long periods, it can damage the pump. Now attach the discharge hose, which is the flat hose, and check that it's not restricted. Lay the hose out as straight as possible and take care to remove any sharp twists or bends from the hose that may block the flow of water. To start the pump, open the fuel valve and close the choke. Turn the engine switch on and open the throttle by moving it slightly to the left. Next, pull the starter rope. As the engine warms, move the choke to the open position. Then open the throttle fully to operate. When you're finished, reduce the engine throttle to idle Turn off the engine and close the fuel valve. Allow the pump to fully cool before touching or transporting it. When you're ready to return the pump to the rental center, remove and drain the suction and discharge hoses. Clean any debris from the suction strainer. Remove the pump case drain plugs and tilt the unit to drain as much water as possible. Reinstall the plugs and clean the pump off with water. Make sure to secure it upright in your vehicle for transport. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com slash rental to learn more about the best tools for your next project.